Well, we made a we made a big change here. What we did was we put those peanut bunker away because we just weren't catching on them, and we switched to a gulp leash go uh, a, a gulp leash, a, gulp leash. <laughs> <laughs> a Berkeley a gulp. I'm so excited because the bite's good. A Berkeley gulp saltwater shrimp, like a four-inch shrimp, and these fish aren't just can't resist this. Oh, that looks like a solid fish. This fish got a lot of weight, really does. I'm hoping it's the right variety of species here. Double header. Oh, double header. You may man. want to grab the next one. All right, hang on. Too. Look at the Berkeley baits. Look at this. Whoa, big one on top, too, All right. boys. Lou, Woo. I'm going to do the double wow, net. Wow, whoa, big, whoa, whoa. Big blue on the bottom. Blue fish, weak fish combo. Big blue on the bottom and a weak fish on the top. Let's take that weak fish. I'm going to get the weak fish. Actually, take them both. You ready? I'm going to drop them both in. Okay. Just swing that net low. I don't want to lose this. I cannot extend it. any more than I am. How's that? How's that? How's that? <laughs> How's that for you? A Berkeley double, man. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> All right. Now, you know one thing. You just we just had to change it up. We, yeah. We caught early on the peanuts, and then just uh, the peanut bite just, just stifled. We were still marking fish. Yep. We just couldn't catch anything. Yeah, that drift just, I mean, that, that bite just totally, totally turned over. One weak fish? We can let that one go, and I'll manhandle the bluefish out of there in a minute. Let's just pass this net to Rick. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. They want your shrimp, though. They want it so good. I'll get that back. Go. We got we got a whole whole uh, tub full of that. Just hit uh, acknowledge on that, Lou. There you oh, go. A GPS flipping out again? No, just uh, <laughs> we, ran, we ran out of track points. We've been tracking so long, covering so much bottom here. Guys, we slipped off the piece just by a few feet. So it's just, just scoot right back. We'll run right back on top of it. Come in. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> what happened? What happened? All right, Lou, where's your line? OK. Hey, I've been quiet all day. I had to concoct a different rig. Oh, nice fish. You want a net on that, Rich? Um, yeah, he's right in the lip. OK. He's going to fall off any second. second. Any second, this fish is going to fall off. Oh, that would have been fair. You can take one on Andy's rod too. Don't, don't worry, Lou. Oh, nice fish, Rich. There we go. He's wow. gonna come off real quick. There he is. I knew he was. Okay, that's yours. Up. Okay. All good. You tell me why I can take this net out of here, Rich. Cause I'm, I'm not stopping. I'll be out in one second. Fish is free. I just gotta get my bucktail out of here. Hit on the bucktail with it with the shrimp. Or no, just no, he the hit shrimp? the teaser. But what hit I did was I took a bucktail. I tipped it with a with a gulp shrimp. And I put a shrimp teaser up ahead of it. And what did he hit the teaser? He hit the teaser. You know, Rich is fishing a bucktail. You and I are just fishing a shrimp, and I don't think it matters at all. Yeah. No, we're, we're all getting hits. Yeah. But I mean, I was having a tough morning to this also. And then I just switched over to the bucktail. Seems to be working a little bit better. What a beautiful fish. Oh, Hope he's croaking on me. He's, there we go, Andy. Uh, all right, I, I can't watch you guys. I'm going to let this go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got to get back in the water.